Hey everybody, Keith Neighbor with Gators Online and On3, and I'm at Chaminade Madonna High School in Hollywood, Florida, and uh, I watched uh, Chaminade Madonna practice today, and that means I got to see five-star receiver Jeremiah Smith, the number one overall recruit in the On3 industry rankings, uh, practice today, and he was sensational as expected. Uh, in just a moment, we're going to get into the nitty-gritty of his recruitment, and I'm going to share some thoughts on where I think things stand. He's a long-time Ohio State commit, but Florida, Florida State, Miami, and others are trying to chip away. So we'll get to that in just a second. All right, so there's some clips of Jeremiah Smith, the outstanding receiver at Chaminade Madonna here in Hollywood. Five-star recruit, number one prospect in the country. So let's break down his recruitment a little bit. Well, last Friday through Sunday, he was in Tallahassee, uh, got to check out the Seminoles. The Florida State, one of those schools chipping away, thinks if, uh, if he doesn't go to Ohio State that maybe he could end up in Tallahassee. Then he showed up in Gainesville on Sunday, was there for Sunday and Monday. On Monday, he watched the Gators practice. Now, that was significant because he wanted to see what they looked like. And according to both Jeremiah and his father, they thought Florida looked fairly good out there, intense. It was an intense practice, organized practice. Now, during the visit itself, a couple things that really stood out. Jeremiah Smith got to spend time not only with Billy Napier, but also DJ Lagway, Florida's five-star Gators quarterback commit. Now, DJ Lagway went to Florida this weekend with his family, uh, his mother, his brother, and one of his teammates. And it was supposed to be a Friday through Sunday visit, okay, Friday through Sunday visit. But he extended it into Monday, and the reason was he wanted to see practice, for one. And two, he wanted to spend time with his good buddy, Jeremiah Smith. And, do, and make no mistake, they are friends. Uh, they have been together multiple times this summer. Uh, in fact, in June, they both officially visited Florida on the same weekend. Uh, they bonded there. And the week prior to that, both of them were at the On3 um, NIL Summit. Uh, that we as a company hosted in Nashville, Tennessee. And they spent a lot of time there together as well. So again, more time at Florida just this past Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, they rode scooters around campus, checked out the sites. Uh, on Monday, they went to practice and, and hung out even more. Uh, and then afterwards, DJ Lagway did an interview with me and he said, hey, look, I think we, we being Florida, has a realistic chance, a good chance, I believe he said, of flipping Jeremiah from Ohio State. Now, easier said than done. I just spoke to Jeremiah a few minutes ago. I said, look, I'm locked in with Ohio State. I love everything about Ohio State. I love the coaches, Ryan Day, the head coach, Brian Hartline, the OC, who was also uh, instrumental uh, working with the receivers. Um, but I want to give these in-state schools a chance. So he is basically looking at a four schools right now. Ohio State, Florida, Florida State, Miami. Who's number two behind the Buckeyes? He wouldn't say. He said he didn't really know. He's given them all an equal look. I think there's some quiet optimism. I don't want to say confidence. Cautious optimism at the in-state schools, Florida, Florida State, State in this thing. So what does he want to see? What could flip him? Hey, it's not going to be easy to flip me from Ohio State. But here are some things that could give these schools a chance. First and foremost, he wants to see what they do on the field, on the field this season, okay? And for Florida, you look at that murderer's row schedule and you say, well, that's going to be a tough challenge. But if Florida can put something together on the field this year, if that Florida can look uh, pretty good on offense, if the receivers are doing things and, and – uh, you know, then you figure he's got that relationship with the five-star quarterback commit, DJ Lagway, who he has told me before, I think this guy's got a bright future. So then you start putting those things together. It's There's some ifs, obviously. But if Florida looks good, if the offensive is productive, if the receivers are utilized, then maybe, just maybe, Florida will have a chance in the end. Now, he has always said... Uh, at least since I've been interviewing him in the last three, four months, that, hey, I'm probably going to take this all the way into December. That's when I'll sign, and I won't shut anything down. Well, we talked today, and he says he doesn't know what the situation is right now. He's just trying to process it all, right? So if the in-state schools don't look good and it's halfway through the season, maybe he just says, you know what, I'm, sick, I'm set, I'm done, I don't need to see anything else. Uh, but if they do look good, if Florida, Florida State, or Miami shows them something, then maybe he will keep that original plan of stretching it out a little bit into December. We will see. 
He does plan to visit all three of those in-state schools this fall along with Ohio State. But if you're Florida, again, you've got to have that cautious optimism. You've got a class that's number three in the country. You have 21 commitments. You have three receivers committed. So really, this would just be the icing on the cake if you could land Jeremiah Smith. So again, they're in a good spot. They're, they're, they're with, uh, betting with house money, I guess, is what you would say. But if you can land Jeremiah Smith, that's kind of the thing that takes your class over the top, obviously. He's an elite prospect. I don't want to say generational receiver because every year there's another generational guy, and that's not the definition of generational. But he is a fantastic player, uh, incredibly high upside. He's a wonderful interviewer, as you're going to see. Uh, we're, we'll post that at some point. Um, you know, really thoughtful, really polite, practices super hard. I watched him, goes hard every single snap. Uh, and it's easy to see why, you know, colleges just think the world of him. Um, now, he likes UF a lot. His father likes UF a lot. He told me his mother likes UF. So again, uh, committed to Ohio State though, and needs to see something out of the Gators. If he sees something out of Florida this fall, then anything's possible. But right now, it is not gonna be easy to get him away from the Buckeyes who obviously have been winning, winning and winning. And then the other factor there is you look at their wide receiver production. So Florida counters with Billy Gonzalez at receivers coach who has a pretty dang good track record with receivers and producing them and getting them to the NFL as well. So it's going to be a dogfight. We're going to check in on Jeremiah here and there. Got to give him a little bit of space. He's an outstanding young guy. Uh, we wish him the best of luck this season. For Gators Online and On3, I am Keith Niebuhr reporting from Hollywood, Florida, Shamanad Madonna. Go to Shamanad Madonna's uh, page at maxpreps.com and you'll find their schedule. You might want to go check out Jeremiah this year. They've got games uh, in different parts of the state. In fact, I believe in uh, the latter part of the season, they're actually going to play a game up my way in St. Petersburg. So keep an eye on Jeremiah Smith. We'll keep you uh, in tune with all the latest developments uh, Developments, excuse me, uh, in his recruitment at gatorsonline.com. Thanks again, everybody. Take care.